Happiness is not a matter of intensity, but of balance, order, rhythm, and harmony. That is a quote by Thomas Merton. And I just did this episode with Doctora Pilar from Mexico City, where we talked about whether or not anxiety and depression can be derivative from social media use, from all these advanced technologies that have really perpetuated since 2010. And it was so insightful, that interview with her. Please go check it out if you haven't yet, because she talks about how it does, especially with her patients as well, cause anxieties, you know, trying to compare themselves with other people, getting bullied online, you know, just trying to find validation and approval and all these things, you know? And it was so interesting for me personally to speak to her about this issue, because as I said, how great it was to actually live what I consider the best last decade, which were the 90s. And for me, growing up in the 90s as a kid, the computer wasn't part of my day-to-day life. It was really just used for a tool. It was something like we were just learning for school for certain programs that they wanted to make us help develop skills of Word and Excel and all these things. But it wasn't like I'm going to be on the computer all night when I get home from school. Absolutely not. I was out with friends. I was doing homework. I was outside a lot all the time, going places, meeting up. And that was what we were all about at that time growing up, like in the 90s. I'm, you know, for, for I just think it's been completely lost the way in which we have had our social dynamics come about. And just it's unbelievable that's only been really a couple decades that it's gotten to this point, I can't believe it. And just thinking about the whole history of mankind, which, um, you know, I don't want to go back so far, but just within, you know, just going back again, going back just to the 90s itself is just mind boggling to me that, you know, I would race home with my, you know, get home and my brothers uh, would be home. And we were always kind of wondering who was calling, you know, we only had a house phone at that time. It's like, who's calling? Is it for me? Is it for you? No, no, get off the phone. I got to call this person now, blah, blah, blah. You know, and it was just, it was a whole different, just dynamic. And it, it was, I don't know. I just feel so nostalgic looking back at that time. But look, I know that these things can be changed now. And it's the, the advancement of the ever integration and corporation of technological development is going to get even more exasperated as time goes on and it is causing you know a lot of people certain anxieties and depressions and just you know adverse impactful ways on their actual psychology and social well-being so let's wrap this up is like use these platforms and these devices in a way that's healthy in your day-to-day life in a balanced way okay but don't forget meet people in person enjoy your life outside get in nature have fun exercise move your body You know, have other things in your life that make you happy and fulfilled and give you validation in ways that really mean something, you know, because that's the most important thing in the end of the day. And I really encourage you all go back and watch that episode with Dr. Pilar because, you know, she's an expert in this, on this theme. And she has really, really good wisdom about the situation as it is and what we can do about it. So go back, watch that. And if you like this video, please share with your friends and please comment below. What do you think about this topic? Is it necessary that we have a balance in our life with the way we use these platforms, with the way we use our devices? Is it something we need to pay attention to in the future? Please comment below, it'd be great to know and share as a community together and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care everyone.